Hey everybody, Ita Puwalia, Nasiem Nasiaya, and the Chachlia to Litan Atla Male. Hey everybody, what's up? It's me, Miss Christy Lee, and I come from this place called Malé, where we are sitting today at the mouth of the river. This is the home of my ancestors, the home of my children, and the home of our future generations. I just wanted to say welcome and thank you for this beautiful day. It's such a pleasure to sit in the sunshine and share this beautiful land and all the history and knowledge with my children today. We just came back from the forest up the way picking salmon berries, Temlime. Temlime is salmon berry season. It's so beautiful to enjoy the, the nutrients that nature provides. I'm so thankful that we can pass down these teachings to the next generation. And I just wanted to give a great big haichka, haitsepka, haitsepka to all the matriarchs, all the filmmakers, the cinematographers, the editors, the sound people, um, everybody who's holding it down at the IM4 Labs. Much love to all the work that you do. Much success and blessings for this virtual celebration that you're holding. Haitsepka. Haitsepka nasiem nasiaya. Respect. I am four is a way for us to help people understand and experience this beautiful way of seeing the world, seeing our world. So when I envisioned the I am four lab, it was envisioned as inclusive. Everybody has a chance to see what meaning they can make of it in their lives and in their own communities' lives. Right now, it's an indigenous space. It's a space that we feel safe. And we did that by making sure we had a program that would provide enough food and place and equipment. You're able to create anything within, within this realm. You're able, able to make people feel so many different things. So the reason why I'm really interested in teaching web VR is because since this pandemic, uh, people don't have the same access to technological tools as they used to, and VR headsets are often not readily accessible for folks. So um, instead, came up with this workshop where um, the tools are much more accessible because all you need is a computer um, and a web browser in order to create a simple web VR environment. And then for the workshop with the music video making one, uh, we made some 360 uh, music videos. So we learned how to put sound into like a 360 um, skybox. We also um, used a screen recording to build a quick VR environment in web VR um, and then recorded that and then brought it into DaVinci Resolve uh, to cut and edit uh, to the music of their choice. Uh, the web VR platform allows us to create music and mixes in a format that our ears actually perceive sound, which is what we call binaural. This was a pretty easy way to like build environments in virtual reality, which I thought was super, super cool. A lot was very new um, and at points it was very confusing, but having the mentors there to just kind of share screen and walk you through it uh, was incredibly clarifying. So we're traditional knowledge keepers within, you know, our, our sealed knowledge system remind us that everything we use and everything in everyday life is from the Tamih, is from all living things, which includes cell phones, technology. And we're also guided by the principles that all living things have a spirit and an energy because we know that because it's in our language. Um, we also know that we're acutely respectful and mindful of all living things and the concept of sustainability and reciprocity. So what's my relationship to this tool mined from the ground? And then what is that non-human interaction with it? My dream is that I can get closer to understanding how we can repair those relationships. We've been in the future, in the past, in the present, all of our existence. And all of our teachings from wherever we come from really exemplify that. And I think that's the beauty of uh, bringing something like this opportunity, the IM4, into existence at this time. 
where we're finally at the, at the starting line with everybody else.